Welcome to the original Gangsters podcast, another quick hitter edition. We're going back for our weekly update about what's going on in the great white north. Um, and it appears to be the end of, of one of the chapters of uh, this, you know, complex web of wars within wars. Uh, it's being reported uh, by some outlets in Quebec, as well as my sources are now confirming that the war that was happening in Quebec City over the last year between the Blood Family Mafia and the Hells Angels Quebec City chapter is over with and that a, a, a peace has uh, been reached, at least when it comes to the home front in Quebec City. Um, and I want to be clear, uh, that does not, from what I'm hearing, give a free pass to Blood Family mafia boss david ice pick termel who's currently i'm told um being hunted by a group of hell's angels from quebec as well as uh soldiers in the crew of uh, montreal street gang godfather uh anna tupac atna um and that marty robert of the Montreal Hells Angels has an open half a million dollar contract on Tremel's head. That all is still active, but in Canada, it appears that according to police in Quebec city, according to the Hells Angels in Quebec city, um, there is now uh, no more conflict, no more war on the home front. Uh, we reported that, or it, it was reported that uh, things really, really reached a boiling point last month uh, where it, it, cooler heads were not prevailing. And uh, Termel has been in hiding in uh, uh, Europe since July. At first, he was uh, on a fugitive on the run from the law uh, from a, a case that was dropped in July against him and some people within his organization. And then in 2024, um, it looks like it's more of like he's on the run from the law, but he's also on the run from the Hells Angels looking to kill him. He's being, I'm told, hidden by the, the Rizzuto mob. Uh, he aligned with them last year uh, in kind of wars that were mirroring each other you know when your your enemy's uh enemy becomes your friend uh the Rizzuto mob uh, has now for the last year year and a half has been at odds with the hell's angels in montreal a group that they had been aligned with for 30 40 years and that has all fallen apart uh meanwhile over in quebec city last year uh the bfm were consolidating all the street gangs and refusing to pay the Quebec City Hells Angels 10% tax on their drug drug sales, uh, I'm told, through a meeting via a cousin of the Rizzutos. Uh, Termel was friends. One of his lieutenants was a cousin of one of the Rizzutos and uh, got a meeting with these guys, got co-signing. Um, he found a GPS tracker underneath his vehicle last March, and, every, and you know all hell broke loose. Uh, I'm told he personally went out and shot up uh, Matt Pelletier's house. He's one of the, you know, he's a mafia prince, or I should say a, I'm sorry, a Hell's Angels prince from Quebec City. And then last, uh, last month, things went haywire, where a, a very respected, feared, prominent Quebec City Hell's Angel by the name of Mario Bananas Augier, um was avoided an attempted kidnapping that was launched by the, the BFM. Um, and then within a couple days of that, uh, some of his, I'm told some of his cousins were kidnapped uh, and held for ransom. They were tortured, uh, toes, fingers cut off. One of them, or they both escaped when one of the um, people that were being held hostage broke out of his restraints and killed one of Termel's uh, top lieutenants, a guy named Patrick Martin, who was, I guess, kind of captaining that kidnapping crew. They call him R.I.V. Well, R.I.P. to R.I.V. Uh, he was stabbed and shot to death while he slept. He fell asleep guarding these hostages and 
um, that's how you know his demise came about. But I was told by sources on both sides of the law this sent everything. You know, it was already zero to a hundred. Then it went from like a hundred to a thousand. And uh, I'm told that uh, Mario Bananas actually got on a plane to Europe with other members of the Hells Angels, as well as some of Atna's guys, uh, to go search for Termel and kill him. Uh, Mario Bananas is back in Canada right now. Reports, uh, again, shout out to the Dirty News. They've done a great job at uh, being at the top uh, top of the line and reporting all of this, you know, boots on the ground in Quebec. But, you know, they reported that uh, Mario Bananas met with the police and the SQ recently and, you know, told them that, that the war is over with in Canada. Um, that they will not be seeking retribution. Uh, they won't be looking to kidnap relatives of Termel or, or Termel's lieutenants. Now, some of this was just kind of organic in the sense that, the, you know, it's hard to, to wage a war against uh, a group that's been dismantled. And as all this chaos was breaking out last month, um, Quebec City Police bring down a, a big BMF, <laughs> BFM indictment uh, nailing about three dozen of them. So Termel's on the run. Uh, his right-hand man and bodyguard, uh, Rubens uh, Denise, they call him the Rhino, I'm told, uh, was just picked up last week in Portugal. So he's kind of a lone wolf now, last man standing. Everybody's in custody. So there is no more blood family mafia to be at war with unless you wanted to do what the BFM did was go after relatives and according to mario bananas and the the police in quebec city that is not going to happen um but i am told that david Tremel is still a marked man and uh open contract uh, i'm told that the sq is is confirming this uh half a million dollar contract out on Tremel's head open for anybody in europe to collect on it We'll keep you updated, but uh, right now, the war within a war within a war, we have all these different conflicts breaking out, but the, the Quebec City war between the Blood Family Mafia and the Hells Angels Quebec City chapter is done, and it was about a year's worth of violence. We were slow to uh, pick up on the reporting there. I kind of, I had heard about what was going on, but I thought it was separate. Uh, to what was happening in Montreal, but it was actually kind of one and the same. Two wars kind of became one. And then over this last month, as things really started to pop off, uh, we were giving you all the latest updates. And it also should also be pointed out that Mario Bananas had gone to Portugal at some point in the end of 23 with a peace offering for Ice Pick Termel and didn't even get an audience. Termel said, I won't see you get back on a plane. So this guy seems to have made his own bed and is going to have to sleep on it. Uh, appears to be hell bent on living fast, dying young, and leaving a huge legacy. This guy's balls are the size of the Canadian Rockies. And uh, whether or not he survives uh, this spring or summer or even the rest of the year, uh, he'll definitely be remembered. Uh, OG Pod, Scott Bernstein out.